The installation of a solar diesel hybrid irrigation bore pump on Andrew Gill's central western New South Wales irrigation farm near Narromine has led to big cuts in fuel costs, greater irrigation efficiencies and a massive reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Mr Gill replaced a conventional diesel pump with the solar diesel hybrid system at a bore pump site that provides year-round pumping into a large irrigation reservoir. The new installed system involves 400 solar panels, which is equivalent to about 100 kilowatts, running through a switchboard here to my right and a variable speed drive that allows the power to head down the hole to a 55 kilowatt submersible pump. We, we made the change to this solar powered electric system. We'd, we'd been looking at the efficiency of our turbine pumps for a fair while worked out there wasn't much more efficiency gains to be made so we we're looking to really decrease our, our diesel cost which is our greatest cost of production. Uh, this pump, the turbine pump that was in, in this borehole was it used, reached its use by date so it seemed a good time to upgrade into something that was going to be easier to use and a lot cheaper over the long term. Being a hybrid system, the pump runs on solar energy when there is sufficient irradiance from the sun, then switches to a diesel generator when the irradiance falls away. The new system has cut pumping costs from $76 a megalitre to $41 a megalitre, and has slashed diesel use by between 45,000 and 55,000 litres a year. Over 25 years, that will equate to a saving of more than 1 million litres of fuel and a reduction of over 3,000 tonnes in carbon emissions. Mr Gill is convinced that solar is the way of the future. I think solar has a good fit on, on most farms and I think it has a, a big fit on irrigation farms. At the moment with the pricing of solar I, I think that the economics probably only stack up if you can use solar for most of the year, whereas I think in the future as the prices of solar and, and battery storage comes down, more and more people will be looking to to install solar on their farm. More information on ways to cut on-farm costs and reduce carbon emissions can be found on the Cotton Info and MyBMP websites.